What's up creators, it's Curtis, and in this quick video, I'm going to show you how to create PSD mockups that work inside my designs in bulk. So let's go ahead and get started. Okay, so in order to get started, you're going to need to have a mockup photo. So in this case, I have a Gildan 18,000 sweatshirt photo that I purchased on Etsy. And again, it's just a blank mockup, which is perfect for this tutorial. So I have that. And then secondly, you're going to want another image that is in the aspect ratio of the uh, product that you're trying to create. So for a t-shirt or clothing or sweatshirts like this one, on my designs, we require 4,500 by 5,400 pixels on the um, dimensions. So in this case, this one is in the same aspect ratio. It's at 2,000 by 2,400 pixels. So that's perfect. So that's pretty much all you need. Now you're going to need Photoshop or Photo P. Photo P is a free alternative to Photoshop. You can find it at photop.com. So if you don't have Photoshop, I recommend you use that. Now let's go ahead and get started. So simply I'm going to take this uh, mock-up photo. I'm going to drag it into Photoshop. Now that's open. Next, I'm going to open up the other images I have, which is basically the placeholder. Uh, let's go grab that. And that's going to open it up into its own file, which is great. So now I'm going to do Control A. You see it selects the entire area and Control C to copy. So basically I want to select, select all of this and copy it. I'm going to move back over to this uh, mock-up photo and Control-V to paste. And now it's there. You can obviously see if I hit Control-T that this is a large image. So I'll resize that in a moment. But before you make any changes to this after pasting it, you want to actually come over to the layer. And I'm going to rename this to MD-Design, which is what the smart object layer needs to be named for my designs to detect it. So now that that's done, I'm going to right-click on this layer and go do convert to smart object. This is very important that you do this before making any changes. So I convert it to a smart object. Now we're good to make changes. I'm gonna hit control T and that brings back the transformer. Um, I'm gonna minimize this and find a good size for this particular product. As you can see, we'll just make this look good. About two inches below the neckline is the uh, common practice for printing. So I'm gonna put it right there. And I also think I'll put this on a slight angle. So let's just do a slight, slight angle with that and maybe move it over to the right more. And when it looks good, I think that looks pretty good. So I can hit, uh, I can click out of it and now it's good. Um, one more thing with the smart object layer, this is where you would apply all your effects. So if you wanted to add displacement or textures or opacity effects or drop shadows, whatever you may want to add to this particular smart object layer, you would do it here. Um, and that won't affect the design in my designs. It'll just add those effects once the design is placed over this placeholder. So in this case, I have the layer selected. Let's say I want to add like 80% opacity. That way a little bit of the shirt can um, show through with the texture. That's a very common and quick practice. Now, if you want to get really advanced, you can do displacement and whatnot, which gives you really high quality looking mockups. But this is good for this tutorial. So now I'm basically done. Um, if I felt like I was good to go, I would just go file, save as, I'm going to go Gildan 18,000 PSD. It needs to be saved as a PSD file, uh, which stands for Photoshop document. So I'm just going to save that here. And then I'm going to also show you how that works. So you can always test it in Photoshop first. So if I double click on the smart object layer, I can basically just hide that. Um, let's go place a design in here. So the sweater, sweater weather, we'll just go place this here so I can show you how it looks, make it bigger. And that looks good there. I'm going to save it. Oh, that's actually not quite small enough. All right, that'll do. So now I'll save it. And in doing so, you see that it applies it over here. So now that's how you can create your smart object mockups inside Photoshop. And when they're ready, you can upload them to My Designs. So with that being said, I have this saved here, this PSD file. Let's go over to My Designs and um, upload this. So I'm over on the mockups page. So literally just hit the upload mockup button in the top right. You can see the, the layer naming conventions. You can see with the design, MD design, which we did properly for the smart object layer. That's all good to go. Now, of course, I didn't touch the text layers or the color layers, but you can actually add those type of um, options to your mockups too. So I'm going to choose mockup. We're going to go find this Gildan 18,000, and we're just going to upload it. I'm going to leave it as this. I'm actually going to put test in the name. We'll put it in the clothing category. There's different categories but I will name it Gildan 18,000 test and we'll upload. 
And once that's uploaded, there's one more thing you need to do. You can see it's automatically selected here. This gives you a quick preview of what it looks like. Uh, so down here, you need to click Enabled and then click Save. And if you don't click Enabled, you're not going to find it in the mock-up generator, so you make sure you enable it. And now public's only for admins. You can basically, eventually, we're going to allow you to make them public and go through a review process, but for now, that's not possible. You can also share your mock-ups with other My Designs users if you like. All you need is their My Designs account email. You could add it right here. So for instance, Curtis at mydesigns.io, and just hit enter and then I could save, and now I would have access to this mockup on my account. Now, of course, this is already this account, but just so you understand, you can share these with other users, which is really cool. Now I'm gonna go over to the listings page and find this. Uh, we'll grab these, go to mockups, and again, we're gonna go 3001 test, or what's 18,000. Here we go. It's got the Gildan 18,000 test here. Now let's just generate a preview to make sure this looks good. In fact, we might wanna use the um, yeah, we'll use this one here. It's a dark colored design, so it'll go on this white um, sweatshirt. All right, as you can see, that looks pretty good. Now what I'm gonna do is just pick a mock-up slot to place this in. We'll actually create another one. We'll call it M1 and save it. Whoops, that looks like that's taken, MM1. Save this slot and then run it. And you can see how quickly we just created this mock-up in Photoshop, uploaded it to My Designs, and now we can actually generate mock-ups in bulk. And of course, again, as I mentioned before, you can add, you can apply all kinds of effects from Photoshop to your mock-ups, but let's go ahead and take a look. So there you have it. It's that simple. Um, I'll, I'll expand on these videos in the future and show you more like the displacement, texture effects, and things you can add. But for now, this at least gives you an understanding of how easy it really is to create um, these Photoshop documents that are mock-ups with smart objects and then use them in My Designs in bulk if you have a paid plan. So whether it's the Pro or Pro Plus plan, you'll have access to this mock-ups, custom mock-up system, which is extremely powerful. And I highly recommend to use it because now you can create your own structured layout for mock-ups, your own style, and then create those in bulk for Etsy or Shopify in the future. But that's it for this video. If you have any questions, let me know by leaving a comment below. We'll talk soon.